lights. Um, she's got sort of, she was a five length sort of second, but she's got the right attitude. Kipriusa 13 to 8, Stradivarius at 2, Princess Zoe 6 and a half, and as Ed was saying, Mojo Star 10, 9, now 8 and a half Mojo Star, and now 7 and a half Mojo Star. Ed, we're nearly there. We are the final encore for the great Stradivarius Ed Ascot. Can he do it again? Richard Hoyles. Kiprios is the last one forward after his mess happened in the stalls wait. 12 months ago. He moves forward and completes wait. the line for the Gold Cup. All of the riders sitting quietly and they jump away. Two and a half miles in front of the field. Alignac was the one that was slow away and Stradivarius slots onto the running rail. Frankie casts a glance to the side to see who's prepared to go and make the running. Princess Zoe and Bubble Smart both move forward. Tash Kent and run the outside. Earl of the Cotswolds and they are the leading wave of five early on. Kiprios in the black colours, white sleeves, just being moved forward by Ryan Moore, who's just anxious to get a little bit closer than he is at the moment. Mojo star, Alignac the slow starter, and last of all is Burning Victory. So the two big guns settle in midfield, Stradivarius in the black colours, also the white stripe on his face and the yellow cap, and the bigger white face, Kiprios, positioning himself outside Stradivarius, just holding him in on the fence. He doesn't want to get out yet, but he may do a little later on, as Earl of the Cotswolds leads under Liam Canary, so they make their way over the intersection and continue their way up the home straight. So Earl of the Cotswolds has the lead. Tash Khan races in second place on the outside of Bubble Smart. Princess Zoe in fourth place. Frankie just already just looking to the left-hand side. And it's just not to repeat last year where he got a little bit hemmed in at various times by Princess Zoe. This time his marker is Kiprios and Ryan Moore on the outside. Mojo Star comes next and the last two are Alignac the Grey and Burning Victory. So the crowd who applauded Stradivarius on the way down towards the start applaud him as he passes the field in front of the stands with Earl of the Cotton Oswald's leading from in second place racing Tash Khan. In third is Bubble Smart, and they're now three lengths clear from Princess Zoe. Kiprios, Stradivarius just been reined back behind Kiprios. I think even at this stage, Frankie just considering his options with Mojo Star, Alignac, and Burning Victory. And Earl of the Cotswolds has really steadied the pace there, notably pulled up going past the stands, and now he will have the descent towards Swinley Bottom. So out in the lead, Earl of the Cotswolds has the advantage from in second place Tash Khan and Bubble Smart racing in third, and these three still show the Way. Princess Zoe in fourth, Kiprios still alongside Stradivarius. Then behind these, Mojo Star, Alignac, and Burning Victory as they begin to run downhill and they're approaching the final 10 furlongs. So we're heading towards the halfway stage in the Gold Cup. Earl of the Cotswolds out in the lead. Tashkar in second, Bubble Smart in third. The main interest at this stage continues to be in midfield. Princess Zoe is in fourth. Kiprios, you can see his quarters just keeping Stradivarius penned in. And Frankie continually glides to the left to assess whether he's able, even at this stage, to get a little bit more racing room for when he will need it. Mojo Star and the last two, Alignac and Burning Victory. So they've completed their scent. Now they will begin the right-hand bend. And out in the lead, Earl of the Cotswolds has the advantage. Tash Khan is in second place. Pace just picks up with Bubble Smart in third. Princess Zoe in fourth. Behind these, Kiprios. Now Stradivarius has a length and a half behind Kiprios, but a bit of room in sixth. Now Mojo Star appears on his outside and the last two remain Alignac and Burning Victory. So they're climbing uphill for home now and towards the business end of the Gold Cup. Earl of the Cotswolds out in the lead from Liam Canary. Tashkan still in second place for Ben Robinson. Bubble Smart next. Stradivarius. Frankie just wants to get off the rails. He's mindful of the fact that Princess Zoe and Kiprios, Kiprios in particular, now has clear running towards the outside. The black and yellow colours of Stradivarius head to one side, trying to angle off the running rail. Then Mojo Star as they make their way up Hill out in the lead, Earl of the Cotswolds has the advantage. Tashkar in second, a shoe went flying across the track from one of the runners there. Stradivarius held in by Princess Zoe. Kiprios trying to improve on the outside as well. And now the tactics begin. Stradivarius needs room. Earl of the Cotswolds from Tashkar. Then in third place, Bubble Smart. Princess Zoe improves going well. Kiprios is flat to the board. Stradivarius trying to angle out for his swan song. And then Mojo Star. It's a bunch finish at the moment as on the outside. Princess Zoe Tash Khan, then Kiprios Stradivarius has had to come the scenic route on the outside of Mojo Star, and it's Mojo Star and Kiprios Stradivarius gather together. The crowd willing him home, but he's still got two legs to find. Burning victory at the running rail. Mojo Star from Kiprios Stradivarius edging closer, but it's 
Kiprios who has the lead in the Gold Cup. Mojo Star and Stradivarius. And it's Kiprios for Ryan Moore who won the Gold Cup. Mojo Star, Stradivarius, and then in fourth, burning victory. Tash Khan, Bubble Smart, Princess Zoe, Alan Yak, and Earl of the Cotswolds. The market leader, Kiprios, has seen it out strongly. Aiden O'Brien, trainer of Yates, responsible for the horse that is denied Stradivarius a fourth gold cup. Mojo Star, second in such big races, second in a derby, second in a ledger, now second in a gold cup. Stradivarius, once again, like last year, from a long way out, was looking for room, had to come right around horses. And even though the fire still burns, maybe not quite as brightly, and he couldn't reel in the front two. Good run by Burning Victory in fourth, and they were clear of Tash Khan. A tactical race right from the word go. Ruby's analysis will be fascinating, but it's Ryan Moore and Aidan O'Brien and the four-year-old, the new name on the Gold Cup honour for Kiprios. But let's salute Stradivarius. Four on Ascot wins, three in the Gold Cup. His final run here went down fighting, but on the day, it wasn't enough.